Good afternoon, everyone. This is Stein Brook from Stein Air again. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, just putting on some solder sleeves. They're also known as solder splices. They're these little things you see on the back of your professional avionics harnesses that you get built. A little uh, blue and clear thing with some sort of wire coming out of it. They're available from purchase all over the place, although we have the good ones for what the majority of your job will require. Um, this just has a lead coming out of it. We use them for ground terminations, shield terminations, or combining various wires together. What you end up with is a harness like this. This is a connector with a bunch of shielded wire coming in. And you'll notice these shields all need to terminate to grounds. In this case, we use green for the ground termination. And you'll see all the grounds nicely come back and hook to the actual uh, connector right here on the back. So that's kind of what a finished connector should end up looking like if with proper use of the uh, solder sleeves. So you'll see it keeps it nice and clean and you terminate them right behind the connector. You have your grounds coming out and then back and around. Makes for a very nice clean connector. Here's another one further back, just nice and simple. The wires come back, put a solder sleeve or a solder splice on the end, run the grounds to their, their uh, point. So to accomplish this, we simply take a piece of uh, shielded wire. These are the ones that we looked at in a previous video for stripping. We select the appropriate size solder sleeve. In this case, it happens to be uh, one of the medium sized ones that we have. We're just going to insert it over the wire. And we're going to line it up. So in the center of the solder sleeve, you'll notice a stripe. That's actually the solder in the center. There's glue on either end, this dark blue and the light blue. The dark blue goes back towards the, uh, the insulation. In this case, we don't have a pre-inserted wire, so we're going to use a one that we have ready to go, a green wire that we use for ground terminations. And we're going to insert it under there so it goes right underneath, centers underneath the uh, solder, the line of solder. So the conductor, we don't know if you can see or not, so the conductor goes right underneath that line of solder. It centers up there perfectly. So everything's lined up nice and perfect. We simply take our heat gun, turn our heat gun on, let it warm up make sure everything's still lined up properly and then we're just going to heat this up and you'll notice it start to shrink and in just a moment the actual solder will melt and you can see the solder melting there and we just run it around until all the solder melts nicely down into the shielding that was there shut our heat gun off and there's a completed solder splice you'll notice all the all of the uh, solder has melted and embedded itself nicely down into the shield and our wire, our ground wire coming out the, the other direction, this green one, we can now use as a shield ground or whatever we needed to use it for. We can run it around to wherever we want. It's in there secure. It's actually soldered to the uh, shield inside of there. The joint is also sealed up with the glue that's inside of there so it's hermetically sealed in the back and the front which makes for a really nice solid joint all the way around. And that's what we use these solder sleeves for, and that's how they work. Very simple, very easy, much easier than trying to uh, peel the shield off and crimping an end on it and doing things like that. So you can just repeat that process over and over again. These things are a little bit expensive. They're anywhere from 20 cents to a dollar a piece, these solder sleeves, but they save mountains of work later on. And like I said, they're available in a whole pile of different sizes, sometimes with uh, wires pre-inserted in them, sometimes without. They work really good for termination of P leads, for coax, for some uh, antennas, and a whole bunch of other stuff. They are also available for purchase on our website. And um, hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video and have a good day. This is Stein Brook again from Stein Air at uh, www.steinair.com.